I started gardening from day one, <laughs> or day two maybe. But my mom was a gardener and my grandma was a gardener and um, it just came really naturally. Um, floral arranging came naturally too. Um, my mom had made sure I had seeds and I she let me grow flowers when I was little and brought things inside and you know just it just continued all through and I actually went to Ridley College for horticulture and mm -hmm. so I spent a lot of time in the horticulture field and retail retail nursery sales. My mom actually worked as a horticulture therapist. Um, she was she worked at a psychiatric hospital mm -hmm. and so she she did gardening as part of their therapy so it was you know, and now it's gardening therapy. Horticulture therapy was kind of a new thing back then, but they knew it worked. This was back in the um, 70s. Mm -hmm. And um, so I just, I, I took it up and I used to love going to the greenhouse where she worked and it just spurred my my uh, need for planting and, and being in the soil more and more. The more I saw her, you know, thriving. Well, I started in a flower shop when I was 17, and that was before I even you know, was thinking about working in a nursery as a career. Um, I started there, and I worked there for quite a few years, and they just kind of said, here, you need to do this, and so I just learned by being there and watching and, you know, kind of looking to see how they did stuff, and I did it. Mm -hmm. And I was really good at it, and it just, you know, blossomed from there. I think I did my first wedding when I was about 20, mm -hmm. and... Um, you know, it was stressful and all that, but uh, but I still loved it, and I, I love creating that for somebody's big, you know, their biggest day, basically. Yeah. And um, it just kind of grew from there. After I decided work, nursery work wasn't great for me anymore, it was hot and weekends and all that stuff, um, I started my business in 2010, officially. It's really special. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's an emotional thing. Every time... Uh, I think about delivering flowers for a wedding, it's like they didn't just hire me, you know, to make flowers. I mean, maybe they did, but they're getting a lot more than that. <laughs> yeah. And maybe not everybody understands it, but the ones that really get that are the ones that are really excited. Um, recently I did uh, flowers for a couple, I mean, everybody has their own specialness, but there's some of them that just really, you know, stand out. And um, I had, in March, there was a really special couple. And, they're, they're from Fresno, and um, I just look back on that one and say that's the one that really got me, you know. Mm -hmm. Getting flowers from, you know, um, traditional wholesalers, it's all kind of sterile. You know, it's like, as far as it's all packaged, all the stems are very straight, mm -hmm. you know, everything's all lined up. Um, growing things and using from the garden, things are crooked and wonky, and that's what makes it really cute, you know, that's when you see these big huge arrangements, you know, these popular floral designers, that's what they're using is the weird stuff that's not perfect and straight, and, yeah. you know. So. Um, I long for the garden, um, but I do try to have stuff that goes into winter, like the dahlias will go, um, you know, usually into November. Mm -hmm. um, some of the other things I grow, like the celosia and um, Oh, I don't have any growing yet. Amaranthus and stuff, they grow into the winter. It, it just depends on how cold it gets. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot of foliages and seed pods and all kinds of stuff. But I do, I have to get more creative, you know. Yeah. It's like, I do I do order in things, um, you know, and, and that's, that's great and that's fine. I do try to do, you know, California grown is first. Mm -hmm. um, second would be American grown flowers and if, I have to. I uh, get other flowers from other countries that I really, really try not to. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> There's <laughs> that one in March, but she was so nice she got it anyway. <laughs> the one in March was really pretty. And it's like, I don't really want to give this away. But uh, I do. I always end up giving it to them. Yeah. <laughs>